It is nighttime football in Beaver Stadium, and there's nothing like an atmosphere like this place has. I don't know about you guys, but out there, that might be the most beautiful night for football I've ever been involved in. Tonight is all about us, nobody else. They oh. dreams are dying tonight. Let's get up and Everyone standing here at Beaver Stadium, jumping up and down, ready to go. And here come the Nittany Lions of Penn State. One thing it deep. Delivers near side, picked off Reed, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State, John Reed takes it to the house. Clifford keeps it, he's got middle feet, yes he does, look out, 4 5 speed. <laughs> Over the middle, front view, touchdown. And the Nittany Lions are home. This is Unrivaled. The Penn State Football Story, presented by Pepsi. One, two, two, three, three, four. four. There's no Penn State football without the blue band and vice versa. So, you know, we complement one another. You got to have that dedication to come out here and be ready to march in Beaver Stadium. It changes every week. Uh, this week, we had a lot of new things we're throwing in. Uh, the fans will be able to see that on Saturday. We're putting on uh, a space show, and we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. I think the blue band is, is what you know makes Penn State so special. I think it connects us with our history. I think it connects us with our past. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. To be a member of the blue band is a lot of work, a lot of dedication, uh, but a passion for music and for Penn State. I mean, it's great to see all the old guys, brings back a lot of old memories. And it's hard to believe 25 years has passed. The memories never fade. Thank you, Carter. Drops it up into the end zone. Touchdown. My name is Terry Killens, number 92. I was an outside linebacker for the 1994 undefeated Rose Bowl champions. Every day, we went out to practice and uh, battle. I think that was another thing about our team. We had a lot of competition out there because we had a lot of good players. You know, my fondest football memories happened here. Collins looks, throws into the corner for Ingram. Touchdown! You know, nothing compares to that special feeling that only game days here at Penn State can muster. You know, the best thing about that year was when we played Illinois. Collins is back to throw. Man open in the end zone, and it is Scott for the touchdown. 94 yards in a minute and some seconds. That was one of the best things about our team is we were able to execute. Certainly, uh, it's such a great surrounding cast. We played in the Rose Bowl with our fourth string strong safety. And Chuck Vincentic had two interceptions in that game, and I gave him the ball in the defensive player of the game. And he just knew, like, I'm next in line. I get to step in. I know how these guys play. This is how I have to play. My four years at Penn State were some of the best of my life. I got a great education, and I met some lifelong friends. There's not enough to be said for what Coach Franklin has done and the sense of bringing back Penn State football to what it's supposed to be. Coach Franklin is doing an outstanding job recruiting, uh, bringing the right type of players in here that can help this program get back to the heights that it's always been. You know, the uniforms are still the same, the helmet's still the same. I'm excited to be back and uh, see some good football.
Yo, I tell you, you forget. If I show you, you remember. Mm -hmm. If I involve you, you understand. Offense, you will execute at a high level. You will play fast. You will play violent. You will play physical. Defense, some people say they set the standard. Defense, we are the standard. You will have a dynamic impact tonight. Let's play for each other tonight. And under the lights here at Beaver Stadium. Jeff Hardings is the honorary captain as the honor of the 9014, two-time All-American and also a Super Bowl champion. Beaver Stadium on a beautiful night for college football. One hundred thousand strong. We are Penn State. Here come the Nittany Lions. And we are underway. So it's going to be third down and nine. Myers backs out, a lot of noise. It's going to be hard to go wide against this defense. That ball get on the deck, I think it may have. It did. Penn State's got it. It's Cam Brown. It's a tackle, a strip, and a recovery. Outstanding play by Cam Brown. And this Penn State defense is amazing. Second out of one, 28 of Buffalo. Play action fake. Clifford. That is Jahan Dotson's first career touchdown catch. He bled up a little bit thinking, hey, is it mine? Which he got greedy on you against Stone. Hey, that's some drills, though. Yeah. We'll get distracted. We'll get distracted. And Marks, Shane Simmons takes him down for a loss. Excellent defensive play. Indeed. Second and goal at the six. Near hash. Myers wants to throw. Back pressure. Belted in the end zone. Touchdown. Buffalo. They take the lead before the half. We're giving them way too much. Discipline. Welcome to a real test that you're prepared for. How you handle the bad is what recognizes greatness. Y'all with me? Make sure we have a little bit of patience in seeing what they're doing. Let's own this 30 minutes. Feet up on three. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome back the 1994 Penn State Nittany Lions football team. Being on the sideline with my friends, we were talking about how this is a family. You just never forget those guys. They're like brothers. The 94 team was a special team. Obviously, he's special in, in Penn State history because we're the last undefeated team. Anytime you come back, you know, it just gives me goosebumps, makes me happy, makes me smile. We are Penn State! Poise and composure. No talking about it, be about it. One play at a time to our standard. Everybody, and let's do our jobs. Yes, sir. All of us. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Let's go do this. Let's go, man. Have some fun out there, baby. Third down and six, their own 31. This is a smart football player. First and 10 at the Buffalo 23. Here is a big, big opportunity here. 
throws over the middle. Friable's got it to the five. Touchdown, Penn State. One play, and the Nittany Lions are home. That is a well-designed play. As they've dramatically scored 14 points in the span of 104. What a great with these one-play drives. We got to sustain it. We need to hear you all Down he goes to the 35-yard line, all over him that time. I'll tell you, they're doing a great job at gang tackling. But we got to get in this face. You know what I'm saying? I know we keep getting close. We just got to get in this face. They stand at Beaver Stadium. That crowd is getting noisier all the time. You can see them. It's a raucous crowd. Nice work defensively there. That play was smothered by Tariq Castro-Fields. Clifford keeps it. He's got limbo feet. Yes, he does. Look out. Four, five, speed. Tripped up inside the five. John Clifford showed some quicks on this one. 58 yards. Kane is the running back. He scored twice last week. It's Noah Kane. Left side. Lowers the shoulder. He is in there. Touchdown. The Nittany Lion offense has found its rhythm here in the third. We got to go, man. We got to go and we got to grow. That's got to be our motto. Sweet Caroline. The Nittany Lions will take over at their own 45. Got Dotson. Good catch. 50. Breaks the tackle. 45. 40. Near sideline. 35. Great adjustment on the ball. They're going for it on fourth down. No, oh, they go to front. Twenty-eight point third quarter. Pretty good block downfield by Hamler. You saw that blocking. You saw that blocking. Yeah. Oh, I'm big, dog. Hey. Blown up on a great <laughs> defensive play by PJ Mustafer. Wow, Mustafer brought some Mustafer. Fourth and two, Penn State twenty-five. State answers the call. Second half has been all Nittany Lions. Off the pump fake, and it's a beauty. It's Dotson. Touchdown. Oh, how do you do? That pump fake was a thing of beauty. That was beautiful. Hey, what's in you? Hey, huh? Fun. Fun. Ball game over. Penn State's 2-0. Listen up. First of all, great team win. At home in Beaver Stadium, our home. Hell of a job. It always starts with I love you. It always ends with I love you. Let's get a break on Journey Brown. No. Get me on three. One, two, three, family. family. This week on campus in Penn State Athletics, the cross-country teams Friday morning will host the Spike Shoe Invitational at the Penn State Blue Golf Course. That will start at 9 a.m. Friday evening, field hockey against Old Dominion at the field hockey complex starting at 6. The men's soccer team's at Jeffrey Field Friday night to take on Villanova at 7. Also in rec hall Friday night, the women's volleyball team against defending national champion Stanford. That will start at 9. Saturday, the Nittany Lion football team takes on Pitt at Beaver Stadium at noon. Women's volleyball Saturday night is against Oregon in Rec Hall beginning at 8. Sunday, it's women's soccer against Virginia at Jeffrey Field at 1. And Thursday, it's the Big Ten opener for the women's soccer team against Michigan at Jeffrey Field beginning at 6. That's this week on campus in Penn State Athletics. A constant beacon of class and excellence on the Penn State campus for decades has been field hockey head coach Charlene Marek Curtis. She is in her 33rd season as the head coach, but her Penn State journey began as a player in field hockey and lacrosse for the legendary Jill Rattray. 
I always say when I go out to the different coaches' caravans and speaking engagements, like I honestly cannot imagine what my life would be like had I not come to Penn State. And I'm forever grateful to Jillian Rattray for giving me that opportunity. What I love about Jillian, what I remember about Jillian, what I carry through my own coaching about Jillian is that you care about people, and she cared about us. President Jimmy Carter's boycott of the 1980 Moscow Olympics was tough for Shar to take, but she remained on the national team to help them win a bronze medal in Los Angeles in 1984. Well, you know, the, the night that we found out that we weren't going uh, was just a devastating moment. We were at a tournament up in Lock Haven and we heard Carter announce it on the radio. And Joe D'Angeli hugged me and, you know, we both cried. And he said, all right, let's go. And I go, where are we going? He's like, we're training for 84, let's go. You know, it was just a, a tough group of international teams, Holland, Germany, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. And uh, fortunately, we, we won a shootout against uh, Australia and won the bronze. The door to coaching opened and Beth Anders was a major influence. Beth really taught me about um, a lot of the tactics, the X and O's, but just to continue to, you know, find ways, you know, tactically to stay in the game. So I, I think that I learned so much of just the knowledge of the game from Beth. At Penn State, she took that style and made the Nittany Lions a major influence in the sport, recruiting student athletes like Tara McGuire. I knew almost immediately that she was gonna be the person I wanted to play for. I knew that she would totally bring out the best in me. Sandy Barber truly appreciates her legendary field hockey coach. She cares about her students. She cares about Penn State. She puts Penn State before self. Uh, she's a really accomplished, she was an accomplished student athlete, and now she's an incredibly accomplished coach. As she approaches her 500th career Penn State victory, Shar's energy and enthusiasm for Penn State and her program are greater than ever. I want to represent this school with, uh, with that class, with um, excellence, you know, with that commitment, with that pride. You know, I feel like Penn State, it, it, it just makes your heart swell when you think about it. Charlene Marek Curtis, the definition of what makes Penn State special. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. Great day to get better. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Maximize this time in training camp. All right, I know there's a lot of competition. I get that. Go play ball. Something happens, we don't execute. Next play. That's the response. Next play. That's how we want to approach it. We want to have a next play mentality. <laughs> I think the number one thing and the number one job as a coach is to take a kid where he can't take himself. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Take your hip. Take your hip. Good. Jen it, Jen it, Jen it. So it's my job to figure out ways to motivate and, and push that group every day. Every chance you get today, compete. Finish. Finish. Every chance you get. Ready to go. Let's go. There it is, good. Two hands is better than one. I think the number one thing we're asking any player to do is to be selfless. And I think the tight end position is, is very unique in that aspect. You're asked to do a lot of different things. You're asked to be an excellent offensive lineman when you're blocking. That's what we talk about, flattening that play side pass. You're asked to be an elite wide receiver. Good, knife it. Good. As long as you stay selfless and you continue doing your job, then your production and opportunity will come, and I think that's very unique to that position. Good, good, good. See that, Zach? Welcome to the Penn State Football Weekly Press Conference. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Beautiful day out there. Appreciate you guys coming to support and cover Penn State football with this game. We're excited about the opportunity. Obviously, from a historical perspective, what this game has meant uh, to this state and the college football, we need our fans to create a really, really challenging environment. We've averaged 104,000 for the first two games. We need that thing to be busting at the seams. I think we've had as, as, as high as 110. We need that on Saturday. 
and we need we need um, you know the players on the fee- field to feel that 110,000. I want everybody in the state to feel that 110,000. They're a very sound offensive line. You know they're they're very well coached. They got a new offensive coordinator this year. They're going to try to dominate us between the tackles, and that's just something that we're going to have to uh, prepare for and uh, hopefully shut down. Respect all of our opponents. Fear not, but be aware. Well, this team has played in big games before. Uh, just, just make sure we have an understanding of who we're playing and that we have the right amount of respect for our opponents. All of our focus is on Pitt, and all of our focus is on Penn State and get prepared for this game. Nothing else matters. Everybody got me? One pro individual. Here we go. You're going to get it strong. You're going to get it weak. Okay? This is a good play for them. They like it. This back's a good back. Good size, runs well. Broke several tackles there. We got to stop this play right here. They did it three years ago. They did it two years ago. They did it last year. We got to bust this play in the mouth. All right, let's get out there. It's pit week. You gotta get ready for them boys. I know a lot of them boys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a battle. That's all I can say. It's gonna be a battle. Good, there you go. Earn your name. That's where you get your long boy from, right here. It's all technique, bro. It's all technique, man. That ball is iron. It don't come out. Listen up. Overall, damn good job. I thought the offense did a really good job of handling the noise, but overall, damn good. I thought we were locked in. All right, I thought we locked in. I thought we had a really good practice. Now tomorrow, let's make sure we take the next step. Make sure we're getting watch and tape. All right, and let's make sure we're locked in on that. Big on three, one, two, three. Big on. <laughs>